Welcome back. We're now on part six of episode 64, and we're on the first of two title matches, or uh, no, there's four title matches, the two world title matches of the Royal Rumble predictions. This one is the last man standing match between Alberto Del Rio and the Big Show. This is the main thing that has made me go, what the fuck are they doing when it comes to WrestleMania? Because I really don't want to see Del Rio go in as the champion or as the challenger for the title. And I really don't want to see Orton and Sheamus now. I, well, you know what? I don't want to see period. These like quick, um, somebody drops it at Elimination Chamber and now we have a whole brand new feud and everybody gets switched around. I hate when they do that for WrestleMania, but I don't want either... Um, Del Rio as, you know, going in or all that kind of stuff. So they need to, in my mind, have him drop the title now and then move on. And they really shouldn't have even had him win the title in the first place. I don't know what their plan is. If their plan is to have Del Rio and Dolph Ziggler, I'm going to be really pissed because I'm gonna be, you're going to be watching somebody in the crowd all, you know, fucking sour puss face. Uh, it was starting to talk of, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> The hell with that! Serious. If I could get a chance, if I could get a chance started, it'll be a smart count moment. Chant. You don't think they'd be able to put on a good match together? I don't think that's what they're gonna go for. But you don't think they'd be able to put on something nope. really good together? Nope, not at all. Love, Del Rio and Ziggler, really? I think that. Yeah, you get... I don't understand what your offense is to this. That have sounds like an excellent Del match. Rio versus Big Show. I think Del Rio versus Ziggler would be one of those matches where they go into it knowing that Ziggler is going to be the person who gets cheered more, so they handicap him. And they try to make Del Rio look like the big guy. Kind of like what they've done before with um, John Cena. Yeah. I think they're... I think that WWE booking would kill the match. If they told the two guys to just go out there and have a fucking ball and we'll give you a half hour, I think they could do it. But I think that they would end up overbooking it and really screwing it up. I have no faith in WWE pulling it off, more so than the two guys. I don't think you have faith in babyface Del Rio, because I am all for this. And I think the sky's the limit with him right now. Mm. Okay, is anyone apart from me watched uh, Del Rio versus show's first yes, last standing match? I did. Right. Yeah, 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 I, I thought, thought it was brilliant. brilliant. Yeah. Um, everyone apart from Tony <laughs> Yeah, I, I checked realized. Out- I checked out some pieces of it, and I was just kind of, you know. It was an awesome back and forth match, and one of the most amazing matches I've seen on SmackDown in a long time. Yeah, now, great TV about. But yeah, I was disappointed was in the about, And that was just for TV, so what I'm glad is, that obviously they made it last man standing for the pay-per-view because they want to try and top it. Yeah. Because it's the which fucking is, pay-per-view, which is it great. It needs to top it. If they don't top yes. it, if it comes out horrible, then yeah, I will be pissed off. Yeah, yeah but, like your TV match me, is better than your fucking paper rematch. They needed to give it the gimmick again. Well, I am in with, agreement right. with Tony, though, on it, because I don't believe that we're going to see Del Rio versus Ziggler. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't I think, think it's going to happen either. We are going to probably see Big Show recapture the title at the Rumble. Mm. Uh, You're going to go with Del Rio getting um, the loss on this one and being out of the title picture period? Oh, uh, For now, yes. And well, we'll probably see him at the Elimination Chamber. If he doesn't lose it now, he'll lose it at the Chamber. I don't see him keeping the championship. Unless they get Dolph Ziggler to cash in at the Rumble. No, uh, they uh, won't do it that early. <laughs> yeah. Then there is no way we'll see. Because I would want... I could see WWE's point of view. You could He could probably have a more a better cash in on Del Rio than he would on the show. Right. Yes, and he would have exactly. a better cash in at Elimination Chamber than at the Royal Rumble, I think. Yeah, because especially he's, if he's competing he's in the terrible. Rumble. I mean, he's what, are going to win the world title and walk into the Rumble. We all know this is going on before then anyway. Yeah. You know, so, but, yeah, I see Del Rio retaining here. Definitely through something. It's another last man standing match. I'm sure they'll be creative to top their first finish. Del Rio is simply a placeholder champion. He's the guy in between Big Show and Dolph Ziggler. He's the guy that Ziggler's going to cash in on. And then that's going to be it. Because Ziggler will then go on, as I, I'm predicting, that he is going to be Ryback's fodder to earning his first world title come WrestleMania after winning the Rumble. I would rather see Del Rio Ryback is a place show than... He's a guy for Ziggler to cash in on. Nothing more, nothing less. He won't do it here. Yeah. Del Rio will retain here. He might even retain <clears throat> in the chamber, but after the chamber match... That's when you get your new world heavy yeah. champion. They, they cannot do that, though, because that would mean that he's... 
he's a transitional champion coming from a transitional champion coming from a transitional champion. That's just topitating this, this t- title around way, way too much. That's, That's what I'm worried about. Yeah. Much, <laughs> well, if they do it like in a chain of order, like, like say for example, that, uh, the, the Rio actually retains the title. Ziggler um, cashes in his contract, and then when Ryback come, comes in and actually takes the title from him, that's when Big Show. Uh, that's when we get the match at WrestleMania with Big Show versus Ryback for the title, and that that that'll actually lead to a big uh, actual big card for Ryback. Yeah, I don't see Ziggler cashing in on Ryback at all. No, 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 it's not going to happen. No, no, he's going to no. be the guy that. Ryback beats for the championship. For the championship, yeah, exactly. <laughs> sure. oh, My favorite part about this whole thing is that everybody, like, I, I mean, you could give WWE credit for it. They have us talking about it, and they don't yeah. have us going, oh, well, obviously John Cena's going to win, or like one of those kind of things. It's or true. Oh, God, it's Very the true. World Heavyweight title match between Sheamus and Del Rio yeah. or Sheamus and Big Show. <laughs> right, yeah. So, at the very least, they got it to where we're going, what the fuck's going to happen and all that. Um, we're not going to know the good outcome or bad outcome until they kind of announce, for the most part, um, what the situation is with the Elimination Chamber. But uh, as far as the match quality for this, I think it should be okay, but I think nobody's going to pay attention to it because of the Rock and Punk match and the Royal Rumble. I think it's going to be one of those ones where if you're watching it, it, it could be cool to watch. And then right afterwards, you're going to be like, all right, let's go into the next match. Like, we're not going to be talking about this from years to come. No, no. Well, I for me, I, I see Del Rio versus Show is not only going to top it, it's going to eclipse um, the, the whole thing in, in terms of Del Rio versus Show itself. I don't see anybody sit there and say, oh, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be a shit fest or anything like that. Not, not no. at all. If, it's anything like that, smack if it didn't have a like, gimmick yeah. attached to it, I would be very, very scared. If they left it as a regular singles boat, I'd be scared for the yeah, quality. Yeah, because they would make show look strong in it, and that's the problem. Right. Um, that That's the main problem here. They would make show look like Whereas the man. With this, it's a gimmick, and a very good gimmick, one that's you know basically a WWE staple of the last you know over a decade or so. And you know it's going to be a brawl. You know it's going to be a fight. You know that they're going to think of some creative stuff to do. And that's what gets you excited for it. Gimmick matches do work. And some rivalries just do better in them. And this, they gave it the exact same gimmick that their first match had. And it's because of the positive reception of the first match. They want to be able to deliver that better on pay-per-view. And I and I applaud them for that. Hmm. Absolutely. Any, um, uh... any like weird predictions that anybody has for this or any kind of like other topics they wanted to bring up for it. Okay. So my prediction is Del Rio loses show gets the title back. Um, or if show loses Ziggler cashes in that's, that's, that's my opinion. My prediction would be Del Rio retains. Yeah. My final prediction is Del Rio retains here. He's not going to be lucky at the next pay-per-view, but he definitely retains here. Hmm. Uh, Del Rio. Absolutely it, retains. I'm going with Burhan. I think that uh, show. This is a chance that show actually retains the title, but you're going to see a Daniel Bryan moment where the, he actually get the contract gets cashed in, and that's when he loses the title again. Mm-hmm. So uh, next part, we will end off this episode with the Rock and CM Punk match predictions, and that'll be all she wrote. So check out the next part whenever you decide to click on it and we'll continue and kind of end off with the main event that is getting a little bit too much more attention than the Royal Rumble itself I think but we'll see what happens with that (laughs) 